Welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when we upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you a few methods that you can do that will hopefully fix any issues you are having in the Epic Games Launcher. This could be you trying to launch the Epic Games Launcher, it could be the Epic Games Launcher keeps crashing, or the Epic Games Launcher is just having a few graphical issues within the launcher. The first thing you want to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. And as you can see, everything is currently in the green, which means all the services for Epic Games are currently running absolutely fine. If you do have anything that is in the red, especially for the Epic Online services, then this could be what's causing you the issue. So you will have to wait until Epic Games do resolve the problem for you to be able to get back on the Epic Games launcher. But like I said, if this is all in the green, then that's great, we can move on to the next method. And that is to just simply make sure you are currently connected to the internet. To check this, all you need to do is go down to the bottom right hand corner of your screen and just open up your network adapter. And as you can see, mine says connected, which is absolutely fine. I am currently connected to the internet. And also, if you did open up the website just then to check the Epic Games services on your PC or laptop that you're using to launch the Epic Games launcher, then you know you definitely are connected to the internet because this website wouldn't have loaded. So if you're not connected to the internet, then you want to go ahead and just try and connect your PC to the internet because the Epic Games Launcher won't work without it. So you may have to either plug your PC or laptop directly into your router or you might have to just figure out why your Wi-Fi isn't working and yeah, that is pretty much all the advice I can suggest on that. I will put a link in the description below though to a video I have done on resolving some network problems. The next thing we want to do is just ensure we have the latest Windows 10 updates installed. To do this, all you need to do is open up the start menu and type in update and you now need to click on check for updates. You now need to click on check for updates again and as you can see, my PC is now just checking that I have the latest updates installed. And as you can see, I currently do. If you do have any updates available for your machine, then go ahead and install those updates, restart your PC, and then try and launch the Epic Games Launcher and see if that resolved the issues you're having. If that didn't fix the problem you're having, then the next thing we want to do is just right click on the Epic Games Launcher shortcut and click on properties. You now need to click on compatibility and you now need to click on run this program as an administrator and press apply and OK. Now go ahead and launch the Epic Games Launcher and see if that fixed the issues you're having as well. But you do need to be logged in as an administrator for this to work. If you're still having issues, then the next thing we want to do is just ensure you have the latest graphics card drivers installed on your PC or laptop. Not have the latest drivers installed could cause a lot of crashing in the launcher or graphical issues. So go ahead and install the latest drivers for your graphics card. I will put the links to some of the manufacturer websites for those drivers in the description below. If that didn't fix the issue you're having, then the next thing we want to do is simply open up our start menu and type run. You now need to click on run and we now need to type in the following. The percentage sign and you now need to type in local app data and then the percentage sign again and press OK. You now need to find the Epic Games Launcher folder and you now need to open up the saved folder and you now need to click on web cache and we now need to simply delete this folder. Once you have deleted that folder, go ahead and restart your machine and then launch the Epic Games Launcher and see if that fixed the issue you're having. 
if that didn't resolve the issue you're having, then the next thing you want to do is just make sure you don't have any other programs running in the background when trying to launch the Epic Games Launcher. And if you do have any antivirus or firewall installed, then it may pay to just disable that just for a few minutes to see if you can then launch the Epic Games Launcher with no issues. But just remember, you are not protected from any security threats when you have your antivirus or firewall disabled. If it does launch, then you know that your antivirus or one of the programs like Discord, TeamSpeak, anything like that was causing you the issue. And also that does include close down any web browsers you currently have open. Like I have Firefox right now, close that down and then launch the launcher. As the other programs could be hogging resources that we need for the launcher. If you are still having issues with the Epic Games launcher, then the next thing we want to do is right click on the shortcut and then go to properties. You now need to make sure run is on normal window. If it isn't, then go ahead and change it to normal window and then press OK and then launch Epic Games Launcher. If it's still not working, then the next thing we want to do is open up the start menu and type in disk cleanup. You now need to select your C drive. You now need to click on clean up system files and press OK again for your C drive. And you now need to go through all the options here. The more options you can select, the better and more chance you have of fixing the issues you have with the Epic Games Launcher. I'm not actually going to go ahead and select any of the options for now because I am doing a video. But the main options you do want to select is the DirectX Shader Cache. You also want to select the Delivery Optimization Files. And we want to select Temporary Files. Once you have selected these three and if you have selected any other options, go ahead and press OK and then press delete files. And this will permanently delete those files, but that could be what was causing you the issue. And these are only temporary files that we are removing. But like I said, just check what you're selecting before deleting. If you're still having problems with the Epic Games launcher, then the next thing we want to do is right click on our taskbar and then go to task manager. You now need to go across to startup and you now need to go through the below list and just make sure you have disabled any unnecessary startup programs. For example, as you can see, it used to have the Xbox app services enabled. I've disabled that, MSI register, don't need that, so I've disabled that. To disable these options, or should I say apps, all you need to do is right click and then click on disable. If I just enable that, I can right click and go disable. Once you have finished disabling all the startup programs that you don't need to run as soon as you sign into your computer, go ahead and restart your PC and see if that resolved the issues you're having. If that didn't fix the problems you're having, then the only other option now is to reinstall the Epic Games Launcher, unfortunately. To do this, all you need to do is right click on the Start Menu icon and click on Apps and Features. And you now need to type in Epic Games. And as you can see, there's the launcher. We now need to click Uninstall. And you then need to click on Uninstall again. And as you can see, the Epic Games Launcher has now been uninstalled from my machine, which means I now need to head on over to the other link that's in the description below, download the Epic Games Launcher again, and then install it. And with a bit of luck, that would have resolved any of the problems you are having. And unfortunately, that does bring me to the end of this video. Please comment below which method helped fix the problems you were having in the Epic Games Launcher and which issue you were having. And if you did enjoy this video, then don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.